Our world is born in heat and flame and noise. Our world is cast from the fiery red core of a furnace and poured into complex shapes too innumerable to mention. The modern world is quite literally full of cast metal shapes. Almost every aspect of modern life makes use of cast metal products, either as components or as finished products. From engineering and manufacture through to infrastructure and transportation, from the intricacies of computer systems to the machines and technology we all rely on almost every moment of every day, cast metal is everywhere, an irreplaceable part of our world. The South African foundry industry employs over 12,000 people with a variety of skills, trades and professions. As the South African manufacturing sector seeks to become more competitive, our foundries have an increasing need for a skilled workforce, with the industry offering a range of rewarding career opportunities. By tracking cast metal products from design through to final completion and assembly, we are able to see just some of the many different skills and technologies that are needed in order to shape our world. The process of producing a casting starts with a design. This initial design creates the specification for the final product and determines what materials need to be used, what type of production process would best serve the finished product and the tooling required to complete the job. Modern foundries use comprehensive computer modeling to determine just how the mold would be filled to ensure a cost-effective and efficient production process. Permanent molds or die-cast parts are mainly manufactured using non-ferrous metals like aluminium, brass or zinc. The type of die-casting system used depends upon the volumes required. Very high volumes make use of fast, repetitive, high-pressure die-casting machines, while lower volumes can be more cost-effectively produced using gravity die-casting methods. Sand-molded castings are mostly used for ferrous metals like cast iron, steel and stainless steel. In these sand molded systems, high volumes are usually produced on automated molding plants using metal patterns. Smaller numbers are made in more flexible plants using wood or polymer based materials for the patterns. These are cast in what is often called jobbing foundries. Once a foundry has determined what manufacturing system is most appropriate, then a die or pattern must be produced. Having chosen the most appropriate material for the die or pattern, the pattern maker starts by interpreting the drawing and designing the pattern. The creation of these patterns requires a number of different skills. Working in wood and other materials, pattern makers use a number of different tools and techniques. It is a specialist trade requiring great experience and skill in order to create a perfect and accurate finished product. Parts that fit into the mold to create holes, undercuts and hollows are all called cores and are made separately in core boxes. Irrespective of the method of production, the die and pattern making process is extremely technical and is critical to the entire process. It offers many unique challenges to the skilled pattern maker. Once completed, the pattern is transferred to the molding shop in the foundry. Using a completed pattern, the molder must decide how to make the mold so that the castings will be accurate and smooth and not reveal any defects. Molders have to make sure that the sand is mixed correctly with the correct chemical ingredients to provide a strong sound mold and a good solid casting. A box or frame is placed over the pattern and sand fed into this box to give the correct compaction and allow any gas generated during the casting process to escape. 
This mold hardens in just a few minutes. Cores that have been made separately are placed into position to create the internal features required in the casting before the two halves of the mold are matched and carefully placed onto a specially prepared bed, ready for the metal to be poured. While the molder has been creating the mold, the melter has been busy preparing the liquid metal for casting. In order to create a perfect casting, the melter must select the correct charge materials needed to create the particular alloy from which the casting must be produced. Throughout the process, the material is carefully tested to ensure it meets exact technical specifications. In sand casting, the liquid metal is transferred into a ladle, which is then used to pour the metal into the mold. The metal must always be at the correct temperature and must be poured at the right speed and from the right height for the operation to be successful. It is at this final fiery moment when the work of the pattern maker the molder and the melter fuse into a single purpose to produce a perfect casting. After the casting is solidified and cooled, it is cleaned and fettled, where all unwanted metal or roughness on the surface is removed and made ready for further processing, machining and final assembly. Pattern makers, molders and melters each have essential skills and each play a critical role in the creation of these all-important metal castings. They are just some of the skilled workers who help to shape the South African foundry industry. There is a significant skills shortage across many areas of the foundry industry. The South African Institute of Foundrymen and its branch in the Western Cape facilitates various training initiatives to assist in overcoming these skill shortages, working with schools and other learning institutions to promote the teaching and training of foundry technology. The Institute partners with tertiary education providers and government agencies to develop and present comprehensive training. The National Foundry Technology Network, or NFTN, an initiative by the Department of Trade and Industry also collaborates with the foundry industry to address these skill shortages. The NFTN partners with industry to develop training solutions and assists with the funding in the support of the SAIF. The SAIF is responsible for providing practical and theoretical training and ensuring the consistent flow of skilled and professional people into this essential industry. If you think you might have what it takes to shape the world, Contact us and find out how we can help you to shape your world and build a satisfying, challenging career in one of South Africa's world-class foundries.